Hey, what's up guys? It's Hellspawn again. Uh, I'm going to kind of roll two things, actually three things into one here for you real quick. Uh, on the right, you can see my Chopper Predator mask has totally been repainted. Uh, I did about eight different coats of paint on it to get the color, but as you can see, the Celtic is more of a silver and there's a glare here, but if you get closer, you can see it's almost like a metallic brownish black color just like from the movie um, what I did was I started off with a flat, ba flat black base boot sorry and uh, after that I went over that with brown with a dry wash of brown then after the dry wash of brown I went over that with a metallic antique copper uh, that made it look almost like it was made out of clay like a shiny metallic clay so I went in and went over the metallic antique copper brown and black with uh, black to tone it down to take some of the shine off of it then I went over the black with silver and then I went over the silver with a mixture of the copper the brown and the black and the silver all mixed together I did a final wash over the whole thing to kind of dull it down and it is absolutely amazingly cool compared to the original which was just a basic silver color it didn't even hardly have any de it, I mean if you look at the Celtic you can see it's got like you know splotches you can see the black pitted holes and stuff uh, you know it didn't even have that it, it was bad it was just like solid silver the casting still suck you know it's still a little uneven uh, there's a lot of things to still be desired on this thing but with this new paint job on it it looks a million times better. It's pretty bad that somebody like me with almost no painting experience can make a better paint job with 97 cent Walmart paints than the guys at Sideshow Collectibles. So, uh, yeah. Also, you can see I now have a visor in there instead of uh, just the plain casting, which, God, don't even get me started. Um, so you can see I got a shiny reflective visor in there. And I'm going to roll this into it too. I also did the visor or the lenses on the Celtic mask as well at the same time. So now you can see that those are shiny too. So the Celtic mask looks a lot better with the shiny lenses in it as you can see. And then the Chopper Predator just looks ten times better <laughs> than it used to. So very very happy it really saved it for me I was pretty pissed off that I spent three hundred dollars on something and or almost three hundred dollars on something and uh, it just looked like hell so I'm glad I could pull that one out pretty cool so yeah it says limited edition of 500 or whatever on the back of it but actually it's a limited edition of one now because uh, it's my own custom and then also I've got the I got the scar in over here, so I'll do a review on that later. Anyways, the third part of this, uh, what I'm going to show you is how I did the lenses. And I'm not going to take you step by step, I'm just going to give you a walkthrough real quick. Um, what I did was I started off with Play-Doh. And I formed it into the holes. And then I took paper and drew the general shape of what the, uh, what the, the Play-Doh was. Once I cut it out to the general shape, I had to take the paper and place it into the holes on the masks and then use a pencil to kind of push it into the creases to mark down where the exact creases were and then went through and cut them and I just had to sit there and trim and trim and trim and trim uh, until I finally got it right. Um, you may have to do it a couple times, but if you stick with it, it'll turn out good. And uh, then what I did was I took these paper uh, templates and I just went to Walmart and got one of these um, one of these cake pan lids here uh, for the uh, aluminum uh, cooking pans and I took the templates and drew them out onto these pieces of plastic with a sharpie and then cut them out then even still I had to take those pieces and fit them into the holes of the masks and then you know there were some areas like in the corners here back here and then like up here around the bridge of the nose and on the top of the eyes and stuff where I had to uh, trim it in uh, so I just kinda had to keep cutting it until it fit right 
Um, once I got that all to fit right, what I used was I used just a regular pair of like utility scissors to cut, uh, and then I also used the knife to kind of help push it into the little cracks and stuff. Um, by the way, if you're using plastic, when you use these scissors, or any scissors for that matter, when you're cutting, try to use the back part of the scissors. You don't want to get much further than that. Um, I made the mistake when I was cutting that I went all the way and closed it, and when the tip of the scissors got to the to the material that I was cutting, it made like this white mark, like it it bent the plastic at the end of the scissors and made like this bubble white you know stress mark in the plastic. Uh, so I had to start over again with a whole other piece. So just be careful if you're using scissors. It doesn't matter what they are. Don't take it all the way to the very end of the scissors uh, clearance range, just use the back part of the scissors probably. I wouldn't close it to where the quarter inch of the end was closed. After that I took the uh, pieces out and I used, uh, Fake and Right used like three different colors. I used a metallic silver and I used uh, black. And what I did was I just set the pieces down on the ground and I just kind of spritzed them from a distance with the silver and then I kind of went and did a haze like a black haze behind the silver and then I did another spritzing of the silver behind it and uh, bada bing bada boom done and that's what you get so pretty cool very 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 happy with the way that it turned out Um, also I didn't use anything to secure it they're kinda just set in there the way that I cut it was I cut them pretty tight Uh, so when I came back and actually fit them in the mask uh, they kinda just sat in there Um, when you trim it down trim it to where there's a couple points usually the best points to have it tight are in the corners that way if the two corners stay it kind of gives it a rounded look because the the plastic actually bows out a little bit um, and it'll stay in there and you don't have to glue anything so you don't have to ruin anything uh, also if you try and put glue and stuff on this plastic I'm sure it would probably eat away the spray paint or eat away the plastic and I wanted to avoid that um, so I just fit them in there nice and tight and I mean as you can see there's a little bit of give to it but uh, without touching it you can't even really tell so But uh, like I said, anybody that owns these masks, definitely easy fix, only costs you a few bucks. My spray paint was three, four, four bucks for spray paint, probably like a dollar for the plastic top, and then the Sharpie and whatnot I had laying around, I paid like 97 cents for Play-Doh to be able to... fill the holes Uh, but anyways real easy fix I recommend it for anyone Um, if you get this mask it's it's a lot of work I mean I it took me two or three days to make sure I painted it and got it the way that I wanted I had to let it dry and then do another wash and whatnot Um, but in the end it turned out well Uh, perfect color perfect metallic look to it I mean absolutely just phenomenal um, if you're interested, I used uh, dark burnt sienna. I used black spray paint as a base coat, base coat dark, burnt dark sienna from Walmart in the little acrylic craft paint section. Uh, antique silver or copper or brass, whatever it is, it's the darker color of the two. Uh, I used uh, metallic licorice and uh, metallic silver, and that's what I did all the different washes with. Um, if anybody has any other questions, let me know. Or I could even do it for you, uh, but it would certainly cost you some money uh, because it would take up a lot of my time. So, But uh, anyways, you guys just uh, get back to me. Let me know if you have any other questions. I can give you any information you need about the process uh, so that you can do it on your own and fix uh, another one of Sideshow's uh, absolutely ridiculous mistakes that should have never happened. So anyhow, I'll talk to you guys later.